So basically, I'm just going to talk about a UV plugin. Then I have a friend who has a <coughs> has a bit of problems, and uh, I just want to make this in so so uh, not only for her but for you guys too. So as you here, I'm uh, on a DeviantArt page about the UV map, the UV plugin for PMX editor. But here's this PMD book for PMX editor too. But to to know how to exactly use it, you just you just gotta read, okay? Just gonna read what is going on if you haven't installed it yet. Like uh, after I downloaded this and I I have to unblock it uh, using Wimor when it's in a Wimor and then uh, I'm sorry if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, <laughs> man. And it, you you just gotta read if you understand well, okay? So yeah, some people explain the problems and then they're just gonna they they just wanna know which file will, re will work on which version of PMX or PMD editor. So I just follow it, and I honestly don't remember what I did. <laughs> it's been so long. So yeah, that's just uh, after you got your UE editor installed, you must uh, ma make sure it's working, okay? I honestly have no idea what uh, how to say it, uh, this well yet because it's kind of hard to explain. I need a lot of time to think. So we have so lot your model that you wanna uh, take the parts out. You know there are already a few out, but I, uh, for now I'm just gonna teach you how to uh, use it. So you keep your UV mapping file in uh, in system of the plugin. And then here it is. Well, mine is the English one, so it's better to see. Don't ask why they are at the bottom. They're just like that, okay? So select the one that you uh, want to separate. So first, <coughs> we have here in vertex operation, we have select, move, scale, and rotate. So you can just uh, do anything. So for select, you're just going to do this. Not only just selecting one for the C, but you can also select more and move them around. Yeah, <laughs> Control Z to undo. For scale, you have to select something first, and then you're just gonna mess around with them, with them sizes or do this. For rotate, you can just go to any vertex and just rotate them. But it depends where your vertex is at. You want to move them around. Make sure you go back to select move. So yeah. Here I totally have no uh, I I totally never messed with this one so I, I don't know for UV most I had no idea at all so please don't ask me about this yet so uh, you also need to know these reselect is like you wanna reset like you just wanna reset what you just selected and go ahead for show selection in 3D view it's like you selected this thing. Okay, for first, uh, at first, if you want to select more vertices, you just hold shift to select more. If you want to unselect, you just hold control, and then there we go. So you don't have to reselect all over again. It's going to be hard. And then for show selection in 3D view, you click it, and you can see what you have selected. How, how did it get here? How did it get here? <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, that, that's why. Okay. <laughs> so whatever you select and click this, you'll show out what you have selected. But first, you're just gonna go to the material that want the things to be uh, split. Then you, and then here we have reset. It's when uh, after you split something, after you select something and split something or whatever, if you change models or anything, you're just gonna hit reset to reset everything over again because. After you mess something right here, and then this is just going to stay the same until you click reset. So yeah, for a party, just like whatever you've done here, he's gonna <laughs> feel so bad messing this up. <laughs> so after you make a bit of changes, and then you really click this, then it will apply to here. But well, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so let's say we wanna separate the sleeves. So it's gonna select this. And then we click show selection in 3D view. You can see that these things are selected. Make sure this is this V is on. And then you right click here, and there's this control S, which is called split. 
Are you sure you want to split material? Click yes, and there we go. I don't know why it's the why the last material starts to pop up after that, but it's that just happens. So yeah, we have we have just we have just leave split. Okay, <laughs> it looks a bit weird. So again, uh, that, that's a follow. Okay. <laughs> so after after you split something, it's still there. Like what? I just split this and it's still there. So that's why you just the, that's this thing called reset. So yeah, it is built. And yeah, there there we there we have it. So let me show another example. Let's go back to this uh, sort photo thing. Let's say you want to separate the the handle. Like this part of the handle, uh, because it's all gold. So yeah, hold shift to select more, and then I say just this part and this one too. Show selection in three D view, so you can do this. And you want to make sure you can do this too. <laughs> right click, split, yes, and there we go. <laughs> this hair likes to come out <laughs> after I split something. <laughs> so yeah, with the with the material split, you can uh, you can uh, make models easier. So you don't have to like just uh, go on one material like this. And then, for example, you want to take this take the whole hair, and then you have no idea how because it's all stuck together. You set, but somehow UV editor is uh, is actually useful and much easier. So you don't have to just go one by one selecting them all. But it depends then. I feel lazy to separate this right now. <laughs> Let's say this one. What's this? Oh, this. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> it's too hard. It's so hard to see, man. Oh, that's the neck. Right so click, split, yes. Okay, uh, because it's the last material and the last material likes to pop out, <laughs> like it says. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually much easier with the GUI editor. Uh, I know it's annoying that you still have to click reset every time. But this is not o the only thing that you can do in UV editor. You can also make more so you can, uh, you can edit a few things. <laughs> and I'm gonna mess with that. <laughs> so yeah. So whatever you do, you, after you move something, or whatever, you just click apply changes. You can mess with Control Z or Control Y to undo and redo. So yeah, that's basically it, I guess. If you have any questions, just ask. What am I staring at it? <laughs> so yeah, I hope it helps.